UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeBain. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, one loss. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Macacala, Russia, Magomed Agolai! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big powerful punch lands, now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Punches and punches. So they are in the clinch here early. Could make for a suffocating and long fight tonight. Liver kick. 
stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Some nice back and forth action here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by the Korean Super Bowl. And he big comes knee. through with a big knee. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Choi gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? And they separate. Try to establish that jab. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, man. I thought you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Ooh, what a punch. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Oh, single collar tie here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Visibly limping here. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. All right, single collar tie now. And they set here. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Beautiful strike. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. Misses with the right hand. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Nice punch by Shore. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills. Unbelievable strike. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Beautiful punch. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, tags him with that uppercut. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Great punch. What does he follow that uppercut with next time? He lands with so effective. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, nice defense on the single leg attempt there. And they separate. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. And they separate. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Relax, relax. Ooh, what a punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Choi. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Got the single collar tie. Oh, he missed with that right hand. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. An uppercut needed. Needed the body. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Right hand punch to the clinch. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Just missed with the left there. Oh, collar tie. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strike. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. 
he kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going to the next round. Nice kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. It's very tricky he throws that body kick. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, big elbow. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him fry the shin into his opponent. Single collar tie now. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Now connects with a right. He's in close, so instead of punching, he's landing these nasty, vicious elbows. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming. But until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Set up your uppercut. It's such a fast leg kick. Nice straight punch. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his... Oh, he hurt him! He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Joy going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Just misses there with the left. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Flush right hand is true. And now he's got the tie clinch. Way to hide that leg kick. Nice. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, he'll engage in a single follow tie. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Just misses with the straight right. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents it. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh. oh, big left hook there. You don't know when that leg is coming. Let's get it Let's get Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Again, he's looking for that left, it's not there. Jeez Louise. Nice leg kick land. Oh, single collar tie here. Choi's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one and it gets blocked. 
strikes. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience. That's yes, I do. Horrible. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready? You ready? Fight. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute wrestlers. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face. Right hand punch from the clinch. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume. Oh! He's looking at the face now because he's got a Division and put it to good use there. No! Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Big kick lands. Left hand punch to the clinch. Leg kick. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Fantastic takedown. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top of the okay. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Man! Body kick. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best 50 fighters in the UFC. That knee might have landed there. Leg kick lands. Slips the punch. All right, single collar tie now. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Head kick. Beautiful leg kick throw. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. 
sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Less than a minute here to go in our fourth round. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Back and forth we go. Big leg kick lands. Straight right, he misses. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, he somehow goes. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now. How about those five minutes? All right, so there's the end of the round. The cut on his lip is only getting worse. We've kept an eye on it tonight. The cut man is gonna have to do some work here to try to prevent that from becoming more of a factor here in this next round. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, He's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Nice punch lands over the top. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Outstanding need the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh! Big dive and punch lands. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. with the right hand. Back to the feet. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Straight punch land. And they separate. Right hand on point. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Able to land the single ground strike there. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be a oh! What a fantastic strike. That'll do it! He got him! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. And finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Buff with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Ian Levine's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 11 seconds of round number five. 
proclaim the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.